I'm sorry, but that that is a lie. That's a big lie. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's so nice to have you back on my channel. How are you all doing? How are you holding up in this crazy Nigerian economy? Funny of me to assume that all my subscribers are from Nigeria. Well, if you're watching me and you're from any other part of the world, how are you doing? I hope you're doing really, really good. Thank you all for returning back to my YouTube channel. So, a follower of mine on Facebook asked me a question and I thought to share it here on YouTube as well. Already did so on my other platforms like tiktok and facebook so i want to also address the question she asked me uh, what deep conditioner i use how long do i deep condition my hair and i i think this is a topic that confuses a lot of people so i thought to you know share what i have the knowledge that i have with you guys here because it might be of help to someone out there but before we dive into um answering this question properly i would like to give you guys a rundown of what deep conditioning is and what we stand to benefit from it so when we talk about deep conditioning we are referring to hydrating treatment that we give our hair so that you know our hair is able to retain moisture anyone that has an afro hair be it in 4a 4b 4c whichever category you fall into you will know that our hair is very prone to breakage and also frizziness and dryness and what deep conditioning does for our hair is that it helps us to be able to you know restore moisture to repair all the damages that has been done and also strengthen our hair so i'm going to go ahead and outline the benefits of um deep conditioning for you number one is that it helps with dryness and frizziness like i said earlier our hair is really prone to dryness and frizziness number two is that it also helps with you know major damages like heat damage and also color damage for those of you that like to use excessive heat on your hair deep conditioning is really really important and if you are the type of person that loves to color your hair as for me i don't like to color my hair because my hair is really really black and i feel that if i color it it's just going to ruin that for me so i've decided that if i want to color my hair i'm just going to opt for all this artificial coloring that you can easily wash out number three is that it helps to repair breakage and also split ends you know when we talk about um the natural hair community you cannot talk about it without breakage being there and split ends most of us complain about breakage but i think i'm going to make a separate video on that topic because there's so much to unpack and as for split ends let me just tell you this there's a myth around this topic where people say um cutting off split ends i'll be trimming off split ends is going to help your hair to grow I'm, I'm sorry but that that is a lie that's a big lie split ends does not help your hair to grow rather it prevents your hair from further damage and if you if if you think about this hair growth is from the scalp so what does that tell you split ends has absolutely nothing to do with hair growth because your hair grows from the scalp number four is that deep conditioning helps to promote healthy hair growth you know when you do this consistently your hair is going to grow healthy and it will flourish diving now proper proper into what deep conditioners we should use the first thing i want you to know is that deep conditioners come in three different types or even four number one is instant conditioners these ones they are not written deep conditioner on it you just mostly see maybe hydrating conditioner or just conditioner on the on the product and and then there are also deep conditioners that come in the form of hair marks like this um, TGIM product that deep conditioners that come in the form of hair marks as I'm talking I'm also going to be putting some examples for you guys on the screen so that you can see what I'm talking about from other brands as well and then the last but not the least are those um, conditioners that are written deep conditioner on this like once you go to buy it you see it's written deep conditioner so conditioners can come in different types and the fourth type is that there are some conditioners that come in the form of a uh, um, protein they're usually written protein conditioner or protein marks and stuff like that but that is not what we're talking about i rarely even do protein treatment so i'm majorly focusing on deep conditioners as for me there are times i use just hair marks to deep condition my hair i don't even bother using a deep conditioner and there are times i've used instant conditioners to deep condition my hair just like this one i don't know if that makes sense i just apply it on my hair and then i go ahead to you know do the other things which i'm going to be getting into very soon i use instant conditioner to deep condition my hair i also use hair marks to deep condition my hair and i use conditioners that are written deep conditioners to deep condition my hair like i am not picky about this stuff I just, you know, get the product that I want and that is it for me. And you can also do the same for yourself. They still do the same thing. They still perform the same tasks, you understand? So 
I don't know, someone might disagree with me in the comment section, but this is what has been working for me for the past seven years. I've just never been picky about deep conditioners. I use anyone. And I also want you to know that there are so many brands out there to choose from. There are so many brands because trust me, hair products are really, really expensive. You can go ahead and do a market survey of different, different brands and choose the one that falls within your range or your budget or what you'll be able to afford there's also one advice i want to give if you are doing natural hair you understand advice that maybe if you buy specific product that you want to use this could be the same brand this could be different brands try to use the um, products those particular products for a period of time and if in the course of using a particular product and you don't like it maybe it does not really absorb into your hair strands you can change it but my advice is that when you start out using products you should use them for a particular period of time and see how well you your hair likes it and if your hair doesn't of course go ahead and change it on to the next um, part of the question so this person also asked me how i deep condition after i apply my deep conditioner i stay with it for like 15 to 30 minutes some people do it 20 minutes please do not deep condition your hair overnight because she also asked me that i just want to make it clear it's not healthy for your hair so avoid deep conditioning your hair overnight please and please and please and please so if you are deep conditioning your hair after you apply your deep conditioner on your hair or your hair marks, whichever one you choose, you want to make sure you detangle your hair so that there's even distribution of that product on your hair. And then once you are done, you can either go in with, um, if you have like, uh, what do they call this? Hair steamer. <laughs> if I have like hair steamer, you can use it. I've had this for years, but trust me, I've never used it. You can use this, but if you don't have a hair steamer, please use a shower cap. This is the one I've been using for, in fact, since the beginning of time that I started doing my natural hair. So you can use a shower cap. And if you don't have a shower cap, my dear, there's one thing that every one of us must have in our house, and that is a leather bag please use a leather bag once you are done deep conditioning apply your deep conditioner or whatever max or anything go ahead cover this on your hair so that you know it will trap heat you understand it traps heat and then your hair is going to you know deep condition properly make sure you secure it at the back properly so that it's able to trap enough heat for um the deep conditioner to marinate into your hair strands properly i think we have come to the end of this video and let me reiterate please look for products that fall within your budget look for products see that thing that they usually say expensive products work better it's another myth in the natural hair community please when a product is expensive or less expensive it doesn't mean it's going to work better like just go with whatever works for you do not listen to all those things natural hair products are really really expensive and in this economy remember to focus on what works for you and deep condition consistently like i don't miss deep conditioning on any of my wash days that is how important it is so make sure you are doing the same for your hair if you want your hair to you know grow and be really really healthy on this channel i do anything surrounding natural hair be it hair styling tutorials and natural hair tips i also create content beauty content and also lifestyle content so if this sounds like something that interests you please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell you can see more of me and i promise you're not going to regret it thank you all for staying to the end of my video and i will see you guys in the next okay bye